according to the Maxwell's electromagnetic wave theory, a vibrating magnetic field creates a vibrating electric field in right angle and this creates another vibrating magnetic field again in right angle and this kind of vibration of electric field and magnetic field make possible the propagation of light. Maxwell's equations helped to predict the speed of light and this resulted in the wider acceptance of the electromagnetic wave theory of light. However, I think that to understand what is light or what are radio waves, we need to first investigate about why the magnetic fields of a magnet are concentrated around the magnet itself and why the magnetic fields of a magnet are always bended. I think that the answer of this simple question has a huge significance in the understanding of what is light, what are radio waves and how they are propagated in space. I believe that magnetic lines are not imaginary but they are real and each electron acts as a tiny magnet and it has a north pole and south pole. An electron creates a magnetic line and it emerges from the north pole of the electron. We know that if you keep a number of iron nails on a magnetic pole, the other ends of the nails will ripple each other. Just like that, the magnetic lines that emerge from the same pole of a magnet also ripple each other and they bend. In other words, the mutual repulsion between the magnetic lines of a magnet causes them to bend. The electrons in a magnet are aligned in such a way that all the north poles of the electrons are directed to the north pole of the magnet and south poles of the electrons are directed to the south pole of the magnet. And this is the way a magnet gets its north pole and south pole. When a steady direct current flows in a soul node coil, all the electrons will be aligned just like in a magnet and the soul node creates a magnetic field which is similar to a magnet's magnetic field. At the same time, an alternating current in a coil creates a changing magnetic field and this changing magnetic field can induce a vibrating electricity in a nearby secondary coil by electromagnetic induction. However, when the frequency of the alternating current becomes the frequency of a radio wave, there is something very interesting thing happens. The oscillating magnetic lines produced by the alternating current start to leave the coil and they radiate outward and they will become detectable from a distance. A tuned oscillator circuit generates high density powerful oscillating magnetic lines which can reach long distances. When the electrons start to vibrate at radio frequencies, the electrons will lose all their alignments within the coil and this reduces the repulsion between the magnetic lines of the electrons. At this point, the magnetic lines become straighter and this helps them to reach far distances. However, there is still assist the repulsion between the radio frequency oscillating magnetic lines and this enables them to travel in a curved path and they are able to bypass all obstacles in their path. This is why radio waves could reach every corner and everywhere. At the same time, as the frequency becomes the frequency of microwaves, since they have a shorter wavelength, they experience very low mutual repulsions and they are able to travel almost in a straight line. This is how microwaves are able to travel almost in a straight line. In short, the wireless transfer of energy that occurs between the primary coil and the secondary coil of a transformer or between a radio transmitter and a receiver in the very same way and both are simply electromagnetic inductions. Please watch my previous video which discusses the mechanism of how light is propagated in space. I am Joseph George.